Hello everyone, Cliff Dubinois here with another episode of The Path to One Million. This is episode 59. So yesterday when I was gearing up to do my live video in the morning and I had my phone all set up and I had it on the tripod, I got my little timer thing back here to let me know how much time it is. And uh, I put myself into position. First thing I noticed here, the little sideburn on the side of my head was like sticking like straight out. And I thought, great, you know, when this thing sticks out, it's like a Venus flytrap, right? It's like I can catch a small dog in that thing. So I run over to the bathroom and I'm putting water on it, trying to get it to lay down. It was absolutely ridiculous. And it finally did lay down. And I come over here and I shoot the video, get everything done. I put the video out on, on the different channels that I have and uh, put the podcast episode out, which I'll talk about that in a little bit. But I put all that information out. And, and then at some point in time, I leave the office and I'm heading back home and I'm looking in the rear view mirror and the Venus flytrap comes back and is out there in the wind. I'm like, great, now I'm gonna catch a small dog in that thing. Uh, it's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. So I get home, uh, I go onto uh, my app and there is uh, an appointment with my barber, Jesse Trejo, Jesse represent. Uh, he's available, he's actually in town. Now, the thing is like with guys in, in haircuts, at least it is with me anyways, it takes me forever to find like a really good barber, right? For some reason or another, uh, you know, not everybody can cut hair. Um, well, let me rephrase that. Everybody can cut hair, but not a lot of people cut it really well. And it took me forever to find Jesse. And of course, then Jesse was in Long Beach. He's actually on my Long Beach Impact podcast. If you want to listen to that interview, uh, take a trip over there. But he's been cutting my hair now for a number of years. Him and his family have moved to Utah where he's opened up another barber shop there in Ogden. So uh, Port Tom Barber, uh, give him a shout if you happen to be in that area and watching this video. Anyways, uh, so I get an appointment, I go in there and I go to uh, his barber shop and I'm not thinking anything about it, it's just, another, it's just another Sunday. When I walk in there, he is like really excited, like genuinely excited. He is like, man, I, I had a chance to watch your, uh, your Facebook video yesterday when you're talking about purpose and man, that is just so cool. He's absolutely on fire, like super excited. And I'm, I'm kind of a little bit taken by that because this is the, like, you know, on my Sunday, this was like the last thing that uh, that I expected to see. But he's genuinely, genuinely excited. He's like, oh, man, this is so cool. And da, 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 da. And it's great news about the podcast and all these people downloading it and finding it after all this time. And I, yeah, I'm like, yeah, this is, you know, this is really cool, you know. And, it, and you know, it kind of reminds me, you know, this is, this is the reason why I share these stories is because, you know, it's all about impacting people and inspiring people to, inspiring people to take action and uh, to have a positive impact in their community. So, you know, I, I, I sit down in his chair and, uh, you know, we're talking, there's a gentleman that is also cutting hair next to him. And I'm sorry, I cannot remember his name, Jesse, if you watch this video, I want to say it's Jacob. Uh, there's another gentleman sitting next to him and Jesse makes a comment to him and says, oh, this is Cliff. He's the one that does the podcast. And Jesse's like, oh, that's you that does that, does that, uh, that Long Beach podcast. And I was like, yeah, that's, you know, that's me. He's like, oh man, that's so great. That's so cool. For me, that actually meant like a lot. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm all excited that like Jesse's excited and I'm very excited that every single time somebody likes or comments on one of my videos. But when like a complete stranger interacts with the stories that I put out there, to me, that's really super cool. That means that, you know, the stories that I'm putting out there are impacting more than just people that I know. It's impacting people that I don't know. And so I thought this was, you know, this was like the, this was like super coolest thing ever. And, you know, we're, you know, we're just talking and bantering back and forth. And, you know, the gentleman lives in Long Beach and he's lived in Long Beach all of his life. He is Long Beach proud through and through, uh, really believes in his community and stuff. And I'm like, wow, this is, this is really super cool. So uh, he's getting ready to, he's getting ready to walk out the door. And, uh, you know, Jesse's like almost got the small dog free from my hair as he's hacking away at it. And uh, the gentleman, he turns and he looks at me and he goes, thank you for giving back to the community. And that really struck me there for a second. And, and it, was, it, it was one of those instances where, you know, and obviously I said, thank you, right? And whenever somebody, you know, whenever somebody pays me a compliment like that, of course, I, I'm going to say thank you. But to me, it was like multi-layered, right? It was just, you know, it's one of those things where I never thought about sharing stories or creating platforms to share stories was a way to give back to the community. It never, never really wired my brain to think that way. Uh, but also too, at the same point in time, getting to thank you because, 
you know, it's one of the things that, you know, I do this and never crossed my mind once that I'm looking for a thank you. I'm never, I'm never looking for somebody to say, wow, you're doing a great job or anything. That's not what I do. I, I do it because I genuinely want pe to share stories. I genuinely want people to be able to share their stories, whether, you know, it's a business like with my LinkedIn thing, or if it's, you know, an individual just trying to, you know, share and inspire other people and encourage other people, whether that might be somebody who came from a rough neighborhood, could be uh, a, a girl that grew up in, uh, in an abusive home or whatever it is. I've had guests on my show that have come from, you know, all different kinds of backgrounds and they have turned their, their lives into, uh, into something that really serves as inspiration for everybody on there. I mean, that's the reason why I do it. And it's not about the thank you. It's not about the accolades. Uh, it's, it's, I'm genuinely not looking for applause. I don't even know if they give awards for these types of videos or not. I don't care, but that's not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is to be able to share stories that people have, inspirational stories that people have with the, uh, with the community at large. So, but having him say that, you know, he just walked out the door and I just, you know, I just remember thinking to myself, man, this is just really cool. I, I just, sometimes I forget that, you know, it's all about sharing the stories, but also too, it's about the impact that those stories have. And within a span of, you know, an hour, hour and a half, you know, there was like two people standing there. There was Jesse and there was Jacob. And both of them were just, you know, wow, this is great. This is a great thing that you're doing. One of my podcast guests, uh, Jonas, actually came into uh, came into the barber shop to get his hair cut. Uh, him and him and I share the same barber, Jesse. Uh, so that was totally cool to see him and to catch up with what he was doing. And he was all smiles because you know he remembers, you know, being on the podcast and stuff. And but yeah, so from for, you know from my standpoint there, it was just like it was just one of those things where it was just an ordinary Sunday that turned into something absolutely extraordinary. And I remember just on the way home, I was floating on cloud nine. You know, and the only other thing I have to say about Jacob with his story, when he uh, left and said, you know, he, the last final thing that he said to me was, you know, don't stop, keep going. And, you know, at this point in time, the, the, the Long Beach Impact podcast uh, has more or less retired. I am going to work on a period piece for that uh, to put one final episode up there. But uh, I know that there's going to be some life changes that are coming down the pipe. And I actually have some bigger plans uh, than just uh, just doing something for Long Beach because I really want to impact as many people as I possibly can with these stories. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you, something that happened last night uh, that I thought was really cool. And uh, I will be back again tomorrow with another story. I will see you all then. Have a great Monday.